how do you describe the defense that you guys went up against today? Um, it was tough just because we're not used to a team forcing us one way, but then having a counter for that force. So they didn't let us go middle, but at the same time, they didn't just give us a layup. If somebody was there for a charge, or in my case, somebody was there to block a shot. So it was just tough because you, you would think you'd have them, and then they'd come back with this a counter move and to get a block or a turnover or something like that. looked like you guys were trying to get some backdoor cuts early, and was that part of the plan, or did it just kind of, how tough was it to try and throw those passes through there? They had great ball pressure from the bigs all the way to the guards. They, uh, they were active, had good hands. The last play of the game, the guy literally the big grip that ripped the ball from me. So they just had great ball pressure. Did you feel like you guys had another run in you? Do you, you feel like down that stretch when you got the one that, hey, yeah. we got this? That's what we do. We, we're a team of runs. So I knew that run was coming. Uh, just had a bad play with the ball screen, and we couldn't capitalize on the offensive end. When you guys made the run, you got within one. I mean, did you guys feel like it was coming that you're going to get the lead? Absolutely. Uh, that was the whole field. I mean, we didn't lose confidence until the last, until the you know the buzzer went off. So uh, throughout the game, especially on that run, we felt okay. We're going to make it. We're going to make our lead. We're going to take the lead back. What happened on that turnover with about 70 seconds left? Uh -huh. What happened with that turnover with about 70 seconds left? The, with the big guy, I mean, yeah, he just. Um, so the play was that play that we ran in the Duke game, and I was going to give it to Kenny. And uh, I was going to rip through the pass, and then as I was going to rip through, uh, he just put his hands right underneath and he got it. What did Izzo say in the locker room to you guys after this one? Uh, more specifically, talking to the freshman and I about you know this feeling that we have of, of defeat and, and, and to keep this feeling through our spring and, and our summer workouts and the fall workouts so that we come into our, our next year's uh, at a different level. We asked Nick about this too, but is is next year for sure for you? Me? Yeah, I'll be here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Xavier, are you, are you able to step back at all and just appreciate the run you guys have had over the last two weeks, though, even after a loss like this? Say that one more. If you able to step back at all and just appreciate the run that you guys have had over the last six weeks uh, or so? Nah, nah, like I, nah, I can't. No, uh, before yet. I tried to, I stayed in the moment a lot uh, during the season, so I couldn't really look back on it. But we accomplished a lot, winning the Vegas. Uh, in the in Thanksgiving, uh, winning the Big Ten outright, or not outright, sharing the Big Ten with Purdue, um, winning the Big Ten tournament and making it to a Final Four is crazy all in one year. So um, we had a, a lot of accomplishments this year. Was there, was there any running out of gas there down the stretch? I mean, Matt gets hurt and you guys go with a three big lineup, which I don't think we've seen at all this year. Yeah. I mean, was there, was how much the fatigue really start to play a factor at some point? Um, I was tired. I remember part of the game I was catching cramps and stuff like that. I was tired. Uh, but that's another, you know, motivation for next year where I'll be able to play candy type minutes and be productive, you know, play those 40 minutes and, and not even break a sweat. Xavier, do you talking? almost feel like they beat you at your own game, defense, and all that? Sticking all over the place. Do you feel like you know, um, a little bit of the case? I mean, in the broader perspective, you could say that. But the way they play defense is so much different than ours. I haven't seen a defense like this since I've been playing basketball. The way they they forced us and then set charges and stuff like that. It was very strategic. Was there any? I mean, was there any way to simulate what they were doing in practice? Uh, the scout tried. team did a great job, you know. But then, whenever we whenever we scored. Uh, it wasn't the way that it was actually going to be in the game. So we had like big to big passes. And in the game, I tried to do that with Kenny, and the ball went out of bounds. Like.